A rather strange topic, but we got to admit, if you are tuned into YouTube, you have been seeing this, you have been experiencing this between different rideshare YouTubers that they are engaging in pissing competitions. Now, I learned my lesson a long, long time ago when I got my channel going, it took off. And I got into a pissing competition with the simple driver. And I realized, you know what? It's just not worth it. I turned around and apologized to the gentleman. And still to this very day, I hold him in the highest regards. I regard him as a friend. Now, I do understand, and this is probably more a male thing. I don't think that females engage in this on YouTube. But, you know, when... Having um, studied psychology and spiritual psychology um, on top of business economics, I can tell you something that there is, a, there is such a thing as ego in business, right? It's known that a lot of CEOs have a massive ego. It's known that a lot of politicians have a massive, massive ego. You want to stand your ground. You're always right. You're never wrong, right? What I say is right. What you say is wrong. Ego, ego, ego. But let's take a step back for a second, right? The bottom line is we're all here to do one thing, to help drivers, to help share good content, to show results, to show what works, to show what doesn't work, right? But I do understand when some YouTubers have to stand their ground, when, you know, just blatant, stupid remark, remarks are made on YouTube, not backed up, just sucked out of the air, thrown into a video, not even thought through, just regurgitated garbage, right? And then I think it is important that certain YouTubers, not to mention names, do some fact-checking and call out other YouTube rideshare drivers on their SHIT, right? That I do understand. But that then goes back and forth and becomes a pissing competition, um, maybe to... Uh, get more subscribers, to make yourself known, to put yourself out there. Let's attack this person. Let's attack this person. Let's attack this person. Let's copy this. Let's copy this. Let's copy this. There are a lot of YouTubers that will get defensive and rightfully so when their content is copied. And there are also rideshare YouTubers that have a right to stand up and call somebody out and say, hey, that is wrong. That doesn't exist. That is not true. So it is our duty, I think, in social media, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, to keep the facts straight, to keep the truth out there, right? Not to mix um, blue skies with gray skies, not to create the zone of unknowns, but to bring clarity to bring truth to the driver, to the new driver, to the veteran driver. Say it as it is. Share your numbers. Share your experiences. Show them what works, right? But don't go on in an endless effort to try and out-piss your competitor. That's not healthy. Have a wonderful day.